First Alert Weather with meteorologist David Burgett. Did you catch the full moon last night? Well, if you didn't, one of our viewers did and submitted to our KTTC Weather Facebook page. This is from Bob as the snow moon rose over Lake City or Lake Pepin last night. And just look at how beautiful that is. It even has a red to orange-ish tint to it. And it just rose above the lake and even caught some of the treetops here. So beautiful here and it'll be now going to a waning gibbous here in the next few days. So 34 degrees here in Rochester. We're starting to see the sunrise in our area, but western winds at 11 miles per hour is making it feel a little bit like it's into the mid 20s here in in the city. Across our region, temperatures are going to be into the upper 20s. If you're in Dodge Center and lower mid to lower 30s all across our area this morning, just 24 hours ago, though, we had a lot cooler of temperatures across our region to almost 24 degrees above where we were yesterday here in Rochester and all across our region. We're seeing many warm temperatures this morning in our area. We do have some cloud coverage that's going to be moving off south into northeast Iowa this morning that developed along the I-90 corridor. You can see there's some cloud coverage up towards Minneapolis, north of us, and up north of I-94 there. We are gonna have the chance for some partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies for today. And a little bit why we're so warmer this morning is because we have this warm front right here. We did have some southern winds, but you're now shifting to more west as this week cold front pulls into our region. But the good thing is all these showers here in Rapid City in South Dakota area, that's not gonna be making its way into our region today. So the good thing is we'll be dry today, and we we are going to be having some beautiful conditions again, like we much did see here on Saturday. Tomorrow, though, we're going to see some unseasonal warmth with our temperatures here potentially into the lower 60s across much of our area. But this week, we are going to be, see, be seeing or having the chance for some light rain and snow showers possible early in the week as our next system, a strong cold front, pulls through our area. So this morning, temperatures are going to be into the lower 30s across our area, upper 20s in some areas. Western winds, a little bit south, southern winds are into northeast Iowa. As we get going throughout the day, this model is showing some cloud coverage on our area. I don't think it's going to be this widespread of cloud coverage, but Temperatures by noon into the afternoon hours will also be into the upper 40s here in Rochester and lower 50s all across our region. So we are going to be seeing some more milder conditions and warmer conditions than yesterday. Notice how the winds change a little bit out of the south for tomorrow morning, southeast that is. We're going to see temperatures overnight from the 30s peak into the 60s for tomorrow afternoon and late afternoon hours. We're going to see 63 potentially here in Rochester and even into northeast Iowa, into the upper 60s in our area. So again, this week we are going to have that cold front come through our region relatively strong. Could see some rain before that front approaches, transitioning to snow in the evening hours. Before we get to Wednesday morning, we'll see more stray conditions. And speaking of the snowfall, we've been seeing a lack of it all winter here. This is the latest data from the National Weather Service here. Typically through the winter months from December 1st until now, we're supposed to see about 34 inches worth of snowfall in our area. We typically have recorded, we recorded right now up just past eight inches for that snowfall. That means we're in this red column here, about almost 26 inches in a deficit in terms of that snowfall. So we've been missing out that snowfall all throughout our region this whole entire winter. So that just kind of goes to show you maybe this week we'll get a little bit more snowfall in the forecast to wet our grounds for some of those farmers in our areas. So they're trying to get an early start and anything like that. So mild temperatures today, partly cloudy, southern winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour in our area. We are gonna have some windy and breezy conditions for tomorrow, peaking into the lower 60s here in Rochester. And as we go throughout this week, windy conditions will continue. Notice that 30 degree drop between Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll have warmer temperatures and we'll rebound back into the 50s, and potentially 60s by Saturday. Wow, that Midwest weather with it dropping 30 yeah. degrees and then <laughs> jumping back up just for that little cold front you said that's yeah, coming in nothing like a strong cold front there <laughs> gonna just, drop us yes. and bring us some wet conditions just snow snow stay away <laughs> <laughs> and the rain and the rain i mean we could use it for the grass yeah <laughs> spring is spring is uh Less than a month away, we're getting closer. I've been counting down since since fall. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were seeing some of that snow. So thank.